Hey everyone, okay. Oof, I look crazy. My skin has been going crazy. I've been breaking out. And Jada has been Jada. You can see the unwellness in my face. <laughs> but I got things to do. I got work to do. I got this little girl to take care of. So Jada just got changed now. It's time to give her a bottle. I put Coco Melon on, but I think I'm about to start watching um, Gracie's Corner instead because I heard like really good things about it. So I'm going to give it a try and see how we like it. Okay. Oh, it's so sweet. It must be because I ain't feeling good. This is so nice. We got fruit, Jada. We got fruit. Shout out to my man for being so sweet, but here I am just organizing a few of my orders. And I also received my shiny smile kit in the mail. I am going to do a full video on this journey once I figure out how to actually do a good impression. So pray for me, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, okay, so I am getting ready um, for my first ever brand photo shoot. Like I'm very happy and excited about this. I'm about to do my makeup and get, get all the way together. All of my outfits are already set up here, so. I'm excited. I decided that I was going to do my makeup for this photo shoot because I know what works for me. Um, and I haven't found a MUA that I trust just yet here in the Orlando area to do my makeup. So I've just been perfecting my own technique to create like a flawless face that just lasts all day. I will put a video out if you guys are interested in knowing my flawless foundation or makeup routine. Let me know if you're interested and I'll definitely get one out. So here is where we're taking our first couple of shots right up in here. This is how I'm looking. Okay, so I am back home. Face is still beat, so I'm gonna go ahead and just record some videos. My order of designer replicas just came in, so I'm gonna sit down and do an unboxing video on um, what I got. I got a whole bunch of shoes, y'all. <sighs> I'm still recovering from my tan because my foundation is looking more yellow than my skin. <laughs> oh my God, I hope the photographer can kind of Photoshop that because look at this. And we're back on the grind. Here is the workload for the day. I will also be sharing with you all some behind the scenes of me packing up an order. I like to spray my thank you cards with a little bit of fragrance because I am using a Sharpie to write like a nice little note to my customer. And I also like to just make this like a personalized type of experience because you're already getting a custom wig made. So of course I'm going to like include loads of goodies like so and everything here was designed by me. I'm over here labeling products. I changed up the style. I am taking the wax stick from this to this. I went ahead and I filled up all of these containers with my lace gel and now I have to smack on the labels. I now have a larger size in the lace gel and I now have a holding spray and they're all over here. I labeled and packaged up everything. These are the new wax stick labels. I like it a lot better. So it is five in the morning, y'all. And I finally got through labeling all of the lace gel bottles. So I have like all of my products over here. I'm gonna take product photos on tomorrow. And this is what the new boxes for the travel size lace gels are going to look like. And I'll take care of those on well, not on tomorrow, just later on today. I am like super tired. So I'm gonna go to bed. All right, y'all, so this is the following day. So here is how I'll be um, pretty much shrink wrapping the products 
and I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to like, you know, protect my products when I ship them out. Now, if you're shrink wrapping anything, you're definitely gonna wanna get a heat gun. And this, this right here gets super hot. So get a heat resistant glove. I'm using one that came with my curling iron set and it definitely protects you from the burning feeling when you're shrink wrapping like products and such. So I have one box of products there and this is the other box the products everything is all bubble wrap shrink wrap labeled and ready for me to upload onto the website i need to update the inventory i already um took count of what i had here i'm very very happy with how this turned out. Now it's time for me to put in some work so that by May 1st, I can go ahead and send out my subscriber email notifying that the products are back in stock. One of the items that I'm now including in my Wig Essentials kit is these spatulas. I think that this would come in handy when it comes to spreading out the lace gel product or if you decide to use glue, you can use this to help spread out the product a lot more thin um, rather than using, you know, a popsicle stick or um, your fingers to spread out the product, you can use a spatula. Oh, you're so sweet, baby. Thank you so much for my balloon bottle and bouquet. You're so cute. Thank you. Yep, my face is beat, honey. I'm about to record a video. Actually, I'm about to record a couple of videos. I made some press-on nails that I'm about to put on. Every time I'm doing like one of my um, videos where I'm unboxing like a luxury item, I wanna make sure my nails are up to par because it just goes hand in hand. So here are the nails. I have like caviar, rhinestones and stuff on them vlog was like all over the place it was just like a bunch of clips that i recorded from over the last month or so i don't really do much so it's hard for me to find things to vlog we are now in may so i'm going to put bits and pieces together try to create a vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed the bits and pieces in my life i want to get better at vlogging so that i could create better content but i do hope that y'all enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one bye